We're planning an electric forest in my apartment. <laughs> idea for a couple weeks now but it is now one month from what would have been electric forest and we are putting things in motion and I am going to have electric forest in my home if you guys are watching this this is the behind the scenes vlog of how I came up with everything how I'm planning everything putting it all together if you guys want to watch how my electric forest weekend went you can look up here this video served as just inspiration for you guys to have your own electric forest at your home I got the inspiration from Morgan Yates who is a pretty big youtuber she did a Coachella at her home so I thought let's do electric forest and I posted it the weekend before electric forest so that you guys can enjoy it so this is a little bit behind the scenes footage to get you guys excited and just to give you guys some inspo if you want to throw your own festival in your own home today is May 27th I started the planning and everything and I'm gonna walk you guys through what we have and then this is just gonna turn into a vlog and I'm gonna document the whole process of getting this idea to come to life I thought it'd be really fun behind the scenes stuff of getting this all together and I thought it'd be fun to document it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to vibe with me and join the vibe tribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing the behind the scenes of a YouTuber and whatnot. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and let's take it away. <laughs> Use Trello for everything. Just so you guys know, I could do a whole video about this. I know I've been meaning to tell you, but just to like look, you guys get a sneak peek in my content calendar and everything. But Electric Forest would have been this weekend here. So I decided to put it the weekend before. That way I could release the video the week of just to give you guys some inspiration and everything. Also give myself enough time because now we have three weeks, four weeks to plan this and make this idea come to life. So what I'm thinking about doing, we have a list here. I wish I could break this out more so you don't have to see everything, but we have a need to buy list. So everything that I am going to need to buy, I'm trying to be very conscious about it. I'm not being wasteful or anything like that. I'm buying stuff from like Amazon, craft store, grocery store run, just some other ideas. These are the outfits that I wanted to wear. In Morgan's video, she did three outfit changes. So I might do four outfit changes. We'll see. These were all the outfits I had planned for Forrest. I might end up doing three of them, but we will see. And then what I'm envisioning is my campgrounds is gonna be my bedroom. So I'm thinking of setting up the tent that I normally would set up here it's definitely gonna fit and we would just do like campground shenanigans so i would get a wine bag we do wine bag hits and stuff here and then my bathroom's connected so i can just get ready in there for the day um and do like my makeup and hair and everything like that obviously we have access to a shower this is all gonna be one day by the way just on saturday because doing a festival for four days just in my apartment i think would be too much so it'd be fun to just cram it all in one day and then we have, I think I'm gonna make the balcony the forest. You guys have probably seen my balcony in some videos, um, but let's go out here. So yeah, here is the balcony. Here is our little kitchen space living room space yeah we're gonna do some little decorations and stuff outside on the balcony for the forest that'll be like the actual forest part I think would be really fun and then the living room would kind of act as like the music food area basically <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out we'll definitely have our little DJ set up and then the TV can be running some music as well and we can switch off from those because I'm sure there'll be a live stream June 20th weekend probably or there'll be stuff on Twitch. Depending on who comes, I invited my girlfriend Ryan. My roommate Jess obviously lives here. And then we're going to keep it small so we'll see. Maybe I'll invite my friend Emily because she's not the type to go to Electric Forest. But she like loves the idea of Forest and she's going to be helping me craft some of the stuff. I'm getting so excited. I will give you guys an update when we're making some progress and making this thing come to life. Okay, you guys, it is um, T minus eight days until electric forces in my home. I kind of forgot about it for a second and then I was like, oh yeah, I need to plan that because of everything going on. So we're making some purchases today. It is Friday, so we have a week until this thing. Uh, that's unimportant, but I'm getting um, a little lemon squeezer to make lemonade. I'm getting some greenery vines. I'm getting this tapestry. Look how sick that is. I'm getting this like light. I'm getting a tent because I don't have a tent. 
<laughs> so I might as well get one because I know it'll get used. And then another little tree, some lights, a down comforter. You'll see what that's about and some more lights. We're spending $200. <laughs> But I'm not spending money on festivals, so I guess this works. And then I have to, like, go to the craft store and get some stuff maybe on Sunday or next week sometime. But we're making moves. We're making moves, you guys. I'm really excited. My friend Emily is also going to help me make the wristband. She's going to help me make four wristbands, so I'm super stoked about that. And we're going to DIY some stuff, so we're making moves. We're making moves. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we got everything in. I just did, sorry for all the clothes, you guys, I know it's kind of gross, but we got all the packages in, and it's Monday, I'm trying to do laundry. I also did another Amazon um, order, because I got a random burst of an idea that I'm really excited about, so we had to order some more things. And then this week I just need to go to Joann's at some point, craft all this stuff, but it's happy forest week, you guys! <laughs> It's not the same, but you know, we're gonna do our best to make it feel like it's the same. <laughs> hey guys, it's Tuesday and I got some more Amazon packages in <laughs> and I unboxed everything just to see where we're at. So we have the tapestry that's gonna go on the wall over there. This is like a curtain string light. I'm thinking of putting the lights here because we'll have like a little DJ set up and then put the greenery with it. These are like some ivy leaves. I can't remember how many I got, but I'm thinking I'll be able to like layer it with that. Got a little banner so I can write Happy Forest on it. I think I'm going to make my crafting day Thursday just so it's enough time to dry. We got some lights that are going to go outside. We have these two that are battery operated. I need to get more batteries for this one, but this one, look how cute you guys. Ah, uh, you guys can see that. I'm thinking they, since they both light up, I might put this one outside and I might put this one here. Got a birdhouse so I can make a little fairy house. Um, put like happy forest and stuff, make a little house. <laughs> and then I got these lights as well. I thought that these were battery operated, guess not. Um, and then we got some mini umbrellas because I'm super excited. I'm gonna make, remake the umbrellas at Electric Forest, just little mini ones. Um, we'll see how that goes. That'll be like a Thursday, Wednesday project. I need to get hot glue for this stuff because that's how I think I'm going to be able to attach it. And then, oh, I found this at HEB today. So that was all the Amazon stuff. I'll link down everything below if you guys want to get some of that stuff. Um, I found these, which I thought are so fun because like people bring pineapples and stuff. So I thought maybe could also hang that in the entryway or like here or somewhere. Or maybe by my bedroom, that could be fun too. Um, and then I found this little picture, which is so cute in summary, and it was like two bucks. So this would be perfect to put the lemonade in. And yeah, I think that's it for now. We did get the tent and the down comforter. So that worked out really well. And yeah, we're making progress. I'm super excited. I'm like looking forward to this. It's already been a long week and it's only Tuesday. So this will be really fun. Excited to see it all come to life. So today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's adventure is going to be to Joann's and Hobby Lobby just to get any last minute su supplies. I have paint in here from something else. So I need to just double check that like we're good on paint. I feel like I do have enough paint to do like the sign and like the happy forest. Um, but just to get any other stuff to cover the fairy house with and then uh, to get more hot glue sticks for some stuff. But yeah, it's coming together and I'm also excited. I didn't say anything about the down comforter, but I'm thinking out here, we're gonna put a light out here, put the fairy lights along the balcony here. I don't know if we'll need another one. I might wanna test that out in case I need to order more. Um, but we'll put a light out here, we'll put a tree out here, and then put like, make the tree like the little giving tree, and then put a fairy house out here. And then I'm thinking of blowing up the air mattress and making it like a little cozy thing and have the down comforter and stuff so we can hang out up here if we want to. I could also grab the tapestry from my bedroom and put it on this back wall here, or I don't know, maybe we'll leave the back wall alone because we're outside. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just like... This is the most fun thing, planning. Like, I was social chair for my sorority and like always planned a bunch of parties and stuff. So now that I'm like doing it again and now that I'm like crafting and stuff, I'm just like, what else can I craft? What else can I do to make this more like forest? 
The rainbows are out today, you guys. They're wild in. It, it's Wednesday. <gasps> Today's early arrival day, you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, it'd be an early arrival day today. Wow. Some updates. I opened up that because I wanted to see if it was easy to tie to the lights. It also sheds a lot. So if anyone wants to get some ivy, those shed. Um, but I'll show you what I was trying to do because what my idea is put the curtains that way and have the ivy hanging from it. And so luckily the ivy ties up pretty well. So that worked out. We just went to Michael's. And I got some paint for the sign and for the birdhouse um, and for the fairy house, sorry. Got some paint brushes, that way I can write stuff. Um, got some hot glue sticks, which I think, I hope these fit now that I'm looking at them. Got some jewels for the fairy house. I was gonna get glitter, but I was like, we're really not about to deal with glitter with this thing. <laughs> we're not getting that serious, okay? I'm not breaking out that. And look how cute these little charms are. I'm gonna see if I can attach them to the wristband that my friend Emily is working on. You know what I also just realized I didn't get? So we have that. And I got some glitter silver paint to, um, <laughs> to compromise not getting actual glitter everywhere. Other exciting development of today, we have a new baby. We have a new child in the house. This camera just came out and I'm so excited about this. So for those that don't know, I film on a Sony a6000. That is what you guys are seeing right now. Love this camera. I've had it since March of 2018. Wow, I've had it for two years. I didn't even realize that. Um, and some issues with this camera, it doesn't have a viewfinder, which is a way to look at yourself. That's why I'm always staring at you guys. I'm never looking at a viewfinder. <laughs> Pro tip, if people are looking up or looking to the side, they have a viewfinder. I've never had a viewfinder. I've just hoped for the best and hoped that whatever angle worked. <laughs> and the other thing, when I'm recording the podcast, this thing overheats when you film for over 20 minutes. So we can't really have that. It, that just does not fly for me. I got this and treated myself to it brand new, spent a lot of money on it, but it's a good investment. I've been wanting a second camera and it was still pretty affordable. So let's, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. So now I have two ways to film. So we might get fancy with it this weekend for Electric Forest, we'll see. So one thing, I don't review cameras, but this is so cool. I'm so excited. It's so much smaller. This is crazy. It's so much more lightweight. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention. So you see how this lens isn't detachable. The lens that you're looking through right now is detachable and a lot of festivals will not allow that in. I've managed to sneak it in. I'm not even sneak in. People just don't even know the difference half the time. So it's really not that big of a deal. Oh, she turned on. Um, so yeah, that's another reason. I'm afraid when festivals do come back, I'm gonna have a harder time if I don't get press passes or whatever it may be. So this is just like a nice little compact thing and I don't have to worry about damaging this lens ever or anything like that. We'll see how this goes. Another thing, I guess you charge the battery while it's in the camera, which I think is interesting. I have external batteries for, I have external batteries for this one. So that'll be something new to get used to. You guys. I just put in a new SD card for this camera and it has all my like f memories from day one and day two of Electric Forest 2018. I'm like so sad right now. <laughs> Hi, I realized what I should have done today was, you know, do a time lapse of what I did today. Today's Thursday. We have two days to Electric Forest. I made a happy forest sign. I'm thinking that's gonna go up on this wall here. And then I started painting my fairy house. So gonna let that dry, then add some embellishment, some glitter over it. What else did I do? Oh, we figured out this curtain situation. So that's gonna go up there. We're gonna hang it up tomorrow. But yeah, we made some progress tomorrow, Friday. It's just gonna be, oh my God, there's a spider. Ew. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys do see that? <laughs> ah! Crazy that I just like fixated on that. Oh my god. So weird. 
Ugh. Okay, sorry. Tomorrow, I'm gonna finish up some crafting. Um, pick up the wristband Saturday morning for my friend Emily. Oh, another development. These little plaques came in, so gonna try and write some like, you know, you know how Forrest says like, happy forest, embrace the flow. You're right where you're supposed to be. They ended up being a little bit tinier than I envisioned, so we'll see what we do with this. But yeah, also tomorrow we need to make the umbrella contraption here. So doing like the small umbrellas. So that will be the project for tomorrow as well. I also have work tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. All right, good morning, you guys. It is Friday. I'm watching Summer <laughs> Brave Hackers. Um, I'm gonna pause it really quick. So we got a little crafty last night. I have some time before work. It's almost, it's eight o'clock, so I have an hour before work. So I think I'm going to figure out the shenanigans while I can. So what I'm thinking is stringing it when you walk in. But we need to make sure it doesn't interfere with this door. So probably, honestly, where this thing starts, the little fire sprinkler, and then like go across, go across, go across. It's gonna be a lot, I feel like. I'll have to figure out how many strings I wanna do. Another thing is I don't know if I wanna just like do one continuous string or if I should separate it into tinier strings. I feel like it'll just be easier to do tinier strings because like of the length of this and the length of that and length and length and length. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna try and figure out right now is figure out how long of a string I need to do. Like I need to give some give obviously, but measure it along here. And then attach the umbrellas using hot glue. So I might try and see if I can like get crafty on the computer and make a fake lineup as well as a fake set times and have that get printed out and posted wherever. And then, yeah, I think that's really it and do some little bedazzling with this. I have like a webinar for work today that I can just like listen in on. So I might craft while I listen in on that, um, just to get crafty with that. I have some like jewels. I might write something. I kind of wanted to write like, I don't know, make a wish or something cute. I don't know. I wanted to put, I could always put happy forest, but like I have a happy forest sign, so. Okay, so I wanted to know like how many umbrellas I should fit. So I was actually able to tie it all with thumbtacks. So that's really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Sharpie and just mark where it starts and where it ends. Where it starts and where it ends. That way I know how much I need a hot glue. How many umbrellas I need a hot glue. I'm so excited. This is going to look so cool. <laughs> We did it. You guys, look how cute. So cute. So when you walk in, you open the door. Oh, and you get to walk under the umbrellas again. <laughs> so cute. I feel like I should have done like maybe another string here. Like put that string there and then do another one. Maybe we'll just add like, um, Maybe we'll try and like reroute it and add one, but otherwise I think it looks pretty good. I'm just being hard on myself. What can I say? <laughs> All right, with the rest of the umbrellas, I made like a bouquet of umbrellas <laughs> with this bowl because I just didn't know what else to do with them and I just don't want to burn my fingers again trying to do like another string or add more to it. I feel like it's a perfect amount. Like I just perfectly spaced that somehow. So we did a little bouquet. I'm going to put it up there. It'll go next to um, the tree over there. 
I need to get batteries. Ooh, we need to get batteries. That needs to happen. Oh, also I did the little fairy house. I added some glitter to it. That glitter paint worked out so well. Find your magic, added some jewels to it. And then I put where's Carl on the back. If you know, you know, but yeah, it's happening. Okay, I actually like need to get back to work, but that was a fun little break. Here, wait, hold on. No, I'm helping you. I'm holding it up for you. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Wow. All right, we got the sign up. We have this setup. So this will be the little DJ setup. Maybe we'll get some type of tablecloth tomorrow just to like... I don't know add to it make it not just look like it's a table we'll see about that i also realized we don't have an elephant so we might try and go find an elephant because you know if you guys don't know ellie the elephant is one of the like the most special structures <laughs> um a forest and we need an elephant so maybe we'll get a cute little elephant to put in front of the dj set or something um we have the tree ready to go my little umbrella bouquet that i made last minute we hung up some pineapples this is looking so great and we put up the tapestry and that sign outside i added one of the lights down here so that'll be on tomorrow the fairy house she set up there and we have our little giving tree which is so cute um we're thinking we'll put my bedroom lamp that also lights up similar to this one uh probably in this corner or this corner just to have another color going because we can have these synced up at the same time which will be really nice and then um i also have my galaxy light that i got from amazon i think we're gonna put that outside and have it go up to the ceiling Put up the air mattress we have the comforter ready to go and that'll go outside so yeah this has been so fun to set up i'm so excited for tomorrow and we'll see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys um it's forest day so we're getting up and getting ready this will switch over to the vlog soon but we have some last minute stuff we need to set up we're gonna set up the tent in my bedroom right now and kind of recreate the campgrounds and then it stormed this morning so we got our little surprise thunderstorm that we get at forest so it's clearing up right now thankfully i moved in the tree and the fairy house so that's all good to go and then we're gonna blow up the air mattress and put that out here um but yeah and then we have some last minute like errands and stuff to run get the dj set up going
guys. It's 4.12. We've just been doing stuff and running errands. We got lunch and then we took a little nap. And now we did a Target run. We got some cups. I was looking for an elephant. We found our elephant, our little Ellie the elephant. She's so cute. Tablecloth for that. And then we got the lineup printed out. So it looks so sick. We're gonna put that up over there and yeah. So right now I'm gonna finish setting up and then we're gonna get ready. I have to figure out what outfit I'm wearing. I'm gonna show you guys all the outfits that I had planned. That'll be in the actual vlog. Once I finish setting everything up, that'll be the end of this vlog. And you guys can go check out the full video to see how everything turned out and how this night turned out. But yeah, let's finish setting up and wrap up this video. So we put the tablecloth up. Chase is gonna finish the little DJ setup, but cleaned up the kitchen. And then we'll have a little crafting area. And then outside, I have the galaxy light and then the rest of these lights. I put some stuff in the fairy house. We have the giving tree ready to go. I added the lights here, so yeah we are all ready to go that is it for the behind the scenes of this video if you guys want to see how everything turned out how our electric forest at home experience turned out be sure to go check out that video since it is already up i hope you guys like this little behind the scenes video it was kind of so fun to make and this was like something i was looking forward to like all week <laughs> so i'm really happy with how it turned out and i'm excited for tonight i'm sure it's gonna be a blast so thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button to vibe with me and join the vibe tribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, want to see more like it, all that good stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there and I will see you in the next one. Bye.